सो बेसिकली फुल वेव रेक्टिफायर हैव टू टाइप्स नंबर वन वाज द फुल वेव ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर एंड नंबर टू इज द सेंटर टैप्ड ट्रांसफार्मर अबाउट फुल वेव ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड नाउ वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सेंटर टैप्ड ट्रांसफार्मर फॉर सेंटर टैप ट्रांसफार्मर वी यूज द ट्रांसफार्मर दिस इज द primary portion of the transformer and this is the secondary portion this is the primary portion and this is the secondary portion of the transformer and you can see here that number of turns in the secondary portion are double than the primary portion so number of turns in secondary portion are double than the primary portion here two diodes are connected d1 and d2 and in between it is called center tapped because it is tapped with resistance r at the center this transformer is tapped with the resistance r at the center so that's why it is called the center tap transformer this is our input voltage and we will get the output voltage like like this okay now for positive half cycle when this positive half cycle came then we will have positive here and negative here at this point we have positive this point we have negative at this point we will have negative and at this point we will have positive so our voltage our positive half vm will appear as now this is the diode and its p type this is the p type and this is the n type p type is connected to the positive half cycle is connected to the positive when p is connected to positive then we have forward biasing and our circuit will be closed circuit okay so in this case p is connected to the positive terminal of the transformer so in this case we will have the closed circuit here and current will flow here current will move from here move will there there and there so current have at this point current have the two ways to flow current can move there but at here the circuit is open so current will not move there current will move from the resistance and reaches at this point now this is for the positive half and at this point we will have positive and at this point we have negative our p is connected to the negative terminal this is our p and our p side is connected to the negative terminal of transformer when p is connected to the negative terminal of transformer we will have reverse biasing and our circuit will be open so in this case our circuit will be open and in this area current will not flow current will flow only in the upper area and we will get this output voltage now for negative half cycle let us discuss this negative half cycle what kind of rectification will take place for this negative half cycle and for this negative half cycle this is the negative half cycle and in this case we will have negative here and positive here there will be negative there will be positive there will be positive and there will be negative and our p type is connected to positive so this will be closed circuit and our p type is connected to negative so this will be open circuit and our current flow in this direction and we will get our negative half cycle appear to be at the top i have discussed it before when our p side is connected to the transformer 
when our p side is connected to the battery then we will have only positive half cycles then when our n side is connected to the transformer or battery then we will have negative circles negative half cycles so as our p is connected to the battery to the transformer not to the battery to the transformer in this case so we will get the positive half cycle in this case piv peak inverse voltage which appear which will appear here will be equal to v secondary plus vr here is v secondary and here is vr and uh, at v secondary you see here here the v secondary is equal to vm and vr will be also equal to we are taking the output voltage v not at across r and we will have value maximum value of voltage which is vm so vr is also equal to vm v secondary is also equal to vm so our peak inverse voltage will be equal to 2 vm and our peak inverse voltage should be greater than or equal to 2 vm in case of half wave rectifier our pi value piv for half wave rectifier is greater than equal to vm piv for full wave rectifier full wave bridge rectifier is greater than equal to vm and piv for center tapped transformer is greater than equal to 2 vm these are your important mcqs so you have to learn these values so this is all of our lecture in this lecture we have discussed about full wave bridge rectifier and center tapped transformers rectifiers so these are the differences these are the easy things about these two types of transformer uh, these two types of rectifiers i hope you learn all of these things if you like our lectures then kindly subscribe our channel thank you